the peripheral intravenous cannulation video. To begin the procedure, wash your hands, introduce yourself to the patient stating your name and role. Ask the patient to confirm their name and date of birth and confirm if they have any allergies. Ensure you check all of these details on their hospital name band. Seek permission to carry out the procedure from the patient, making sure that you have fully explained the procedure and the reasons for doing it. Expose both arms and choose a suitable site for cannulation. Reposition the patient, making sure that their arm is fully supported and comfortable. Ask the patient if they have a preferred arm. Apply the tourniquet to the arm approximately four fingers width above the elbow. At this early stage, it is recommended that you look at the patient's veins in order to ensure you feel confident in carrying out this procedure. If you find the veins are difficult to see and feel, then it may be appropriate to ask someone more experienced to cannulate the patient instead. Release the tourniquet before leaving the patient. Now gather and prepare your equipment. Please note that you will be spending time in several different hospitals throughout your training. Each hospital will have its own cannulation policy and some of the equipment may vary slightly. Wash your hands again. Clean a dressing trolley with an alcohol wipe. Clean a tray with an alcohol wipe, first on the inside, then the outside. Leave the tray to dry and gather the equipment, placing the items on the trolley beside the tray. You will need an alcohol wipe, an appropriate size cannula, a cannulation pack as per trust policy, at least five mils of sodium chloride for injection. Some trusts require that you wear gloves and an apron whilst assembling the equipment. Adopting a sterile non-touch technique, open the pack and place the contents into the tray. The sodium chloride flush must be checked with another qualified member of staff. Use this flush to prime the connector. Once open, place the remaining equipment into the tray. If you are next to the patient, carry on and perform the procedure. If not, remove gloves and apron, wash your hands and reapply at the bedside. Position the arm to optimise venous dilation and filling. Speak to the patient and tell them what you are doing. Apply the tourniquet seven to eight centimetres above the chosen cannulation site. The tourniquet should be tight enough to pinch the skin, but not so tight that it will cause pain. Palpate the vein and once again ensure you are confident in proceeding. Clean the skin with the alcohol wipe according to trust policy. It is important not to repalpate as you will contaminate the skin. Anchor the vein with your free hand. Insert until you see a flash of blood enter the chamber of the cannula. Gently lower the angle, insert the cannula another two millimetres, slide the cannula over the needle until it is fully inserted and the coloured part is flushed to the skin. Release the tourniquet. Place a gauze under the cannula to collect blood spillage. Carefully withdraw the needle and dispose of it into a sharp spin. Attach the connector to the cannula and clean the surrounding skin if necessary. Secure the cannula with the dressing and flush with the sodium chloride. Dispose of sharps, waste, apron, gloves and wash your hands. Please ensure you document this procedure in the notes.